guess it's ultimately a question of what kind of community and obligation Columbia feels it has to its students. Um, do you want students to die of dehydration and starvation? Die of dehydration and starvation? Are you aware of where you are? You're not stranded on an island in the middle of Fiji. You're in New York on a college campus. Cross the street and go to CVS. Or did you boycott CVS that you need a very government that you want to overthrow to send you water bottles and comfort pillows? Use your iPhone that has a chip that was made in Israel to order Uber Eats. You're the type of person to break into somebody's house to go steal stuff and then stub your toe and then go to the very people that you're robbing and wake them up and be like, I'm so sorry to wake you up. I'm just in the middle of robbing your house. Do you have any band-aids? And then they give you band-aids and you bring them to court to sue them for stubbing your toe in the house that you're robbing. How is this happening? Really, how is this stuff happening right now? You guys make Dumb and Dumber look like Albert Einstein and Jeffrey Bezos. It's concerning. Death to America, but also if America could send us Water bottles and cheese it that would be great, but not too many cheeses because I'm lactose intolerant. And then when I go back to my tent, my roommate might get a whiff of my gases that I let out. But then again, we could can up our gases, sell them on eBay, to raise money for Palestine, so you could bring the cheeses. It's fine. Get out of your tent, go to 7-Eleven, get yourself a water bottle, and ask them if they have any extra jobs for you. Freaking idiot.